Tang gang, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Tay, back at y'all again. And today I wanna give y'all um, this reaction video because I made a video a while back about how eating meat is holding you back spiritually. And I'll put the link in the, in the uh, description of that video so you can go back and watch it. But I got a lot of, um, you know, flack for that video. You know, people disagreeing, people, you know, trying to defend why that's not true. So I want to bring y'all this video today and um, just to kind of give y'all, a, you know, a better picture of why, you know, I said what I said and the reason why, you know, that it, it'll play a, a truthful part in your life. So, you know, saying without further ado, let's go ahead and watch it. You know what that might be i'm gonna just go ahead and stop it right there um yeah so y'all y'all saw that right y'all saw just you know the fear and the anxiety those animals had right um specifically the cows right and this is where you know this is where you're getting your your steaks and your burgers and your ground beef this is where that's coming from you know it's coming from these environments Right. You saw the fear in that animal. That animal knew it knew what was happening. Right. It had a conscious awareness of what was going on. It knew its fate It knew that it was about to die. Not only did it know it was about to die, but but. You know, it's getting tortured, you know, they're getting traumatized from these from these places, man. And like I said in my video, man, it's I'm not trying to. Um, hurt nobody's feelings. I'm not trying to throw shots at nobody. I'm just trying to simply bring awareness. Okay. Um, you know, it's a spiritual war. I'm not no animal rights person or nothing like that. I'm just simply trying to bring you guys awareness of the energy. Right. And how it affects your spirit. How it affects you. Okay. You know, I saw one documentary where they said. You know, they, you know, they slaughtered like 90 cows an hour, right? Just one slaughterhouse. And that's just one animal, right? 90 an hour. So you think about it, you know, you work probably eight hour shifts. I know most places like that probably work 12 hour shifts, right? So for 12 hours, you know what I'm saying? That's 90 times 12. Let's just round it up to 100, right? That's 1,200 cows a day. No, that's 1,200 cows your shift that you're slaughtering, right? Now, understand that energy, you know what I'm saying? Those cows, those cows are aware of what's going on. And, you know, you're there for 12 hours slaughtering, just slaughtering. That affects your spirit, you know, those, those workers, right? Those workers, you know, I don't, they're just trying to make a living. They probably not really fully aware of what they're doing. 
they think it's normal, but um, you being in that in that position as a job, man, that affects you, right? You're not gonna just go home from slaughtering 1,200 cows and then go home and just have a peaceful day. You know, most people get stressed out from working a cashier job. Imagine working a job like that where you're doing something like that, right? So I say this to tell you guys, um, you know, when you're eating that, right? That's the energy that you're putting inside your body. All that trauma, all that fear. You know, I had some people bring up verses to me from the Bible talking about, oh, God said that anything on the land we can eat. You know, it's for our taking. But if you watch this video, you know, you can't. I was sitting here and it's tugging at my heart chakra. Like I can feel that that's not right. And I'm sure everybody who watched this reaction can see and feel, you can feel this video. That energy is not right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you're putting that energy inside your body, right? You can feel that energy through the screen. Now imagine being there. Imagine actually having that packaged up and then you putting that inside your temple, right? Don't be fooled by these two eyes. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at the energy because everything is energy. When you see something like that happen, right, that energy is being packaged and it's being shipped to the stores and then you're buying that energy. You're literally buying packaged fear and trauma and anxiety and torture and then you're putting that inside your body, right? And people wonder why, you know, they start having certain illnesses and, and disease because that's what you're putting in your body. Our cells take the food that you eat and it transfers information. It transfers that information from those cells of what you're putting in your body and your cells take that and you literally reprogram yourself. This is why they say you are what you eat because you're taking the cells of whatever you put in your body and your body uses that to build itself back up. So, you know, if you're eating that type of meat every single day, that's what you're becoming. You're becoming fearful. You're becoming, um, you know, traumatized. You're eating a low vibration, so you become a low vibration. Okay, so this is why I brought this reaction to y'all because I wanted to just bring awareness of not just the fact that it's bad to eat meat, but the energy that you're partaking in, right? You know, because just like if you got a friend who commits a crime, right? And you might not have committed the crime with them, but you were there. So what do they say about that? You're guilty by association, right? You can be charged just for being a part of that crime, just being, just by being connected to that energy, okay? So the same thing with this. You know, when you're putting that energy inside your body, now you're connected to that. And this is why you see so much fear and so much anxiety and disease going rampant. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the energy we're attaching ourselves to. You're guilty by association, right? So for anybody trying to defend that, you know, and I'm not talking to the people who are trying to, you know, clean up their diet and trying to live righteous. You know, that's that's not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the people who defend that and say that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's a right way to do things and it's a wrong way to do things. And, you know, slaughtering a hundred of anything an hour, right? That's nothing should be dying at that rate. Right, that's just outrageous. And that's just one slaughterhouse. How many slaughterhouses do you think there are in the whole world? Right? And a hundred an hour? That's that's not that's not right. You know what I'm saying? No way, no matter how you put that, that's not right. So, you know, I just wanted to bring this for awareness and to let you guys know, man, that especially during these times, you want to make sure that your energy is becoming purified. You want to be detoxing your energy. You know, it's not about the nutritional facts of meat and if it's right or wrong. It's about the act and you see how it's being prepared for you, which is very inhumane, you know, and the energy is not right. You feel what I'm saying? You know, just like your mom's, you know, when your mom or your grandma cook, right? 
she had the music on. I know my mom used to cook with music, you know what I'm saying? She'd be dancing and, you know, that energy is love. She's putting love and care in the food. So now when you eat it, it tastes better. You know what I'm saying? You feel that energy, that energy that she put into cooking that food transfers to your body, right? It's real. You know what I'm saying? If I go to, like me, if I go to a fast food restaurant or something, like, if I go there to order some food, but I see, like, the workers, they in a, they got a bad attitude, they're in a bad mood, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll walk out because I know that energy, all that energy that they have is going to transfer to my food. You know what I'm saying? So this is why you want to be mindful, right? You want to be aware of what you're putting inside your body, okay? It's not about the animals. It's about the energy. It's about the energy that you're partaking in. So... You don't want to be um, connecting yourself to these acts, right? Because this is very unrighteous. That's not righteous, right? So, you know, I just want to bring this to y'all, man. And, uh, you know, just bring some awareness. Hopefully I can, you know, spark something in your hearts, you know, to really change, you know, some of the habits. Because it's very serious, man. You, you know, karma, karma always comes back around. So... You know, if you're partaking in that energy, man, you're going to start to see it change you from within inside. You're going to start seeing chaos inside. All right. So with that being said, man, it's your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know in the comments section what y'all want me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out.